the uh, Oklahoma Contemporary Arts Center uh, moved to a new location just this last March. But getting there took about um, 10 years of planning. The impetus for our move really um, started with the fact that we realized that we had no more room to grow. And also our building was very old. It was built uh, originally as an, a fine arts center uh, that encompassed things like a planetarium, a ballet studio, so on and so forth. And that we really needed a building uh, that didn't have a planetarium space in it. We needed a building that was, that was specifically built for our needs. Um, plus the building was not handicapped accessible and it had no dependable um, heat, air conditioning, or ventilation systems. And certainly for our exhibitions, there was no humidity control. But we really needed to be able to fast forward to the way that people are taught art in the 20th and 21st centuries. So these days, if a person wants to um, make a musical recording, uh, they don't necessarily um, use a violin or a guitar. They can oftentimes use an electronic instrument. The same thing goes with drawing. Um, if a youngster is looking to draw an apple, they don't have to have a piece of paper and a pencil um, or a canvas and, and paint. They can use a, a, a computer. And so we really desperately needed to have um, 21st century art education and our old facility just wasn't, wasn't ready for that. Oklahoma Contemporary's new site is located near downtown Oklahoma City. It's on the north edge of what's known as Automobile Alley on 11th and Broadway Avenue. And the site is about a four and a half acre site that was purchased with basically no buildings on it except for an existing uh, 10,000 square foot um, old single story brick warehouse building. It was about 100 years old and that facility and that building was completely renovated as part of this project to serve as our studios building. The main building, uh, also known as Folding Light, uh, is located in the center of that four and a half acre site. The new Folding Light is uh, a four story, uh, 50,000 square foot building. And we didn't realize it when we initially uh, started planning this project is that the city uh, uh, decided to construct a, an electric streetcar system. And lucky for us, um, the uh, streetcar, actually the northmost stop for the streetcar is directly in front of our building. So to bring all that potential traffic from other parts of the city directly to our site is a huge advantage uh, that, was, that was a nice surprise for us. I didn't want to be too overbearing and expressing my feelings as a, to the details of building. Um, a couple of reasons. Number one, or the most important, is that I wanted other people to participate in the design of the building and how it all came together because I wanted their buy-in um, and just not to be sort of passively observing while Randy and I were doing things. So we immediately put together a um, put together a building committee of people who were knowledgeable about what art centers and art museums should look like. In looking for architects, um, it's, it's not in our mission um, to have invited a, a star architect from afar um, to build a big building for us. Our, our mission revolves around you know, arts education. Ren might have been the uh, second or third board member uh, to join Oklahoma Contemporary's board you know, some uh, 30 years ago. So in, in looking at the different applications we got, uh, from architects, it was our feeling that Rand was the most knowledgeable, the most familiar with our mission, and that he would do the best job of providing us with a plan for a building that we could that would meet our needs. And so it was really a, a perfect uh, relationship, and um, and I'm very very happy with the way it has all worked out. And I think that the public opinion. Um, is that the building looks terrific. And from um, an inside perspective, the way the staff is working with it, it seems to be functioning, you know, beautifully. So I'm very happy with the selection of brand and, and it felt like a very organic uh, process with this being our, the architect. In talking about the construction of the building, um, we had um, responsibilities to do a building that was economical. We had responsibilities of doing a building that met the functional requirements. We needed to build a building that um, really did have a spirit and a, and a sensibility to it that would be um, something that you would remember. And so all of that has to be constructed. 
Um, and so you have to put all of those pieces together and the construction part of it um, uh, underneath this skin um, is far more complex than what you see on the surface. The construction of this building um, had some complexities to it because there are virtually no 90 degree corners in it. Um, uh, it's really about this folding quality of the exterior skin that makes it unique and interesting. I did provide um, some information to Rand on the look and the feel of the building. He and I have worked together um, as a client and an architect on uh, maybe this is our sixth, our fifth or sixth project with Oklahoma Contemporary, and, and he will attest to this. Um, the only thing I asked him for was a box because I felt like a box that's so flexible, easy to move around, big open floors. And um, in the end, Rand did deliver a box, but it's more like a jewel box. It's, it's uh, really beautiful what he did. We'd like for everyone to come to Oklahoma Contemporary, enjoy themselves, to be inspired, and hopefully they would also desire to come back.